Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Seraphis, our Worgen Mage. Hello, Seraphis. Fate has brought you here to me. That's right, fate has indeed brought us here to Darkshore. Of course, if you were with us in the last episode, you'll remember we were around these ruins here as we checked out the good old new profession that we've found called Archaeology. And of course you might remember that we still had one more to get. If we have a look on our map here, you can see that the archaeology dig site is still red. So we've got a few things to do this episode. Obviously one of them is to do a little bit more of our digging. Lots of fun there. And uh, although we've got quests to hand in and lots of other quests to get done around here, what we have to do is what I've been trying to do for the last goodness knows how many episodes. And that of course is to go empty our bags. Look at this. We're chocker full. We have to get back to Darnassus. We have to get to the auction house. We have to repair up. We have to train up. We've been far too long away. Uh, and of course that means that we haven't even managed to train up some spells that are uh, available to us now. Look at that arcane explosion. Uh, that's been there for a good level, if not two. That's just terrible. So we really need, need to get back to Darnassus and do that. But before we do, let's just do one more archaeology dig. See if we can find this last fragment. So of course I don't need to go through it again I'm sure it's pointing us off in that general direction and it's red which means that it's probably quite far away now will we survive a fall down there probably not maybe down here a little bit let's see if we can make it to that rock there oops not quite oh and look at that got ourselves a nice copper vein for our troubles oh, oh, oh. Of course we've got so Can't much of that whoops <laughs> there we go you see our inventory is full it's so bad oh dear um let's see is there anything we can ditch i think we've ditched all of our rubbish probably these bananas i'd imagine because of course we can sell these rough stones on the auction house and you can see they're they're used for blacksmithing engineering and jewel crafting so we certainly don't want to leave them behind there we go okay let's have a look for this last fragment that's here do another survey okay so you can see we're getting closer now uh, unfortunately getting uncomfortably close to those mobs so it looks like we're going to have to dispatch some of them it's okay opening with the good old frost bolt of course and then i think we'll lock them down in place and we use a cone of cold and we use our other instance here to take them out very quickly fire blast and arcane barrage doing the inventory trick there. and yes our inventory is full linen cloth that we can't pick up it's terrible isn't it don't ever let yourself get into this position it's just shocking all right <clears throat> another survey let's see if we're any closer and it's still yellow over in this direction so it's got to be somewhere relatively close we'll do another dig oh and it's getting very close now doubt it's going to be up the top of this so it's probably just around here somewhere. Whoops. Leaping down into the path of an oncoming mob. Whoops. There we go. All right, let's have a look now. Oh, no. Look, it's a nice green staff. In fact, it's probably, it is, it's better than what we've got. Oh, this is just terrible. What do we got here? Broken fangs. Okay, we'll get rid of those. They're not too expensive. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Now, we'll leave the linen cloth there. Before we go any further, let's finish off this survey. So many things to do. Always so many things to do in well. And there we go, the Night Elf Archaeology Find. So, of course, if you watched our last episode, you'll know all about how it works. Let's have a look in the Archaeology screen here, and we'll go into Night Elf. And you can see there that this time we picked up four. That gives us a total of 11 out of 30 fragments. And you hover over it there, and it says, uh, quite plainly, the number of fragments needed to complete this artifact. And you can have a maximum of 200 fragments of each, each race blah, blah, uh, at any one time. So once this gets up to 30, we'll be able to solve this and actually get that. Uh, so let's have a look on the map now and yeah there we go because we got two in the last episode one now that means three and if you remember you can only ever get three fragments from a dig site at once so we've exhausted the fragments that are available there all right so let's have a look at this new staff that we got ourselves uh so where is it where did it go 
There it is. Medicine Staff of the Owl. It's going to give us plus four spirit, which is fantastic. And of course, if you ever want to check on what your stats actually do, go over to your attributes on your character screen here. Uh, by the way, if you can never see them, there's this little arrow down the bottom right corner here that says show character information. Uh, it might be that that's hidden. There you go. And you can see here, spirit increases your mana regeneration by 24 per five seconds while not casting. So we definitely want that. It's much better. And it also gives us a bit of extra DPS, not not that that is really um, of any use to us. Also uh, got a buff there of 4 intellect. So let's see now. Uh, what do we got? 4 intellect, 4 spirit. Yep, that's going to be much better. Let's have a look what it looks like. We'll control click on it. And you can see it actually looks a little bit more fancy than the one we've got on as well. So let's go to our outfits. Go to normal. And we'll swap out the one we've got. Yep, binding to us. So of course now we can't sell it on the auction house or anywhere else. Um, and we can't trade it either. We can only sell it to a vendor. So we'll save that outfit. Yes, we will. And you can see here that this Cyril's Promise one now doesn't have any outfit attached to it. And we'll just sell that to a vendor. All right. So what have we got to do? We've got to come back here at some point. We've got to find those uh, ancient device fragments. You'll remember we were looking at those. And we've also got to get some salvageable grey mist wreckage. Uh, and we've also got to hand in three quests there. Now, all the while, I'm also keeping an eye on our uh, level because, and by the way, look at that. Dark Shore uh, zooming off into the background there just looks so awesome. Um, because we're level 23, and of course, if we go into the random dungeon finder here, and we hover over these dice, which, of course, tells us the instances that we're eligible for in the random dungeon finder, you can see a new one has opened up there. It's the Stormwind Stockade. That is new. Black Fathom Deeps, that's you as well but if we go to the specific dungeons you see here we've got Wailing Caverns and Shadowfang Keep which have turned green now we've got to level or rather the end of level 25 to do that we're currently level 23 so it's uh, coming up time that we need to actually go run those two or else we'll miss out on them anyway for the meantime we need to get back to that Darnassus now of course we could fly there we could run there we could do all sorts of things but in the interest of time we're just going to use our hearthstone and you can see here that we've got it set at the Howling Oak so it says, returns you to the Howling Oak. Speak with an innkeeper at a different place to change your home location. That is the Howling Oak right at the back of Darnassus. So that's going to take us straight there. Yes, we'll have to fly and run back down to where we were. But that's okay. For now, look at this. We're back at last. Now, one of the first things I want to do is find a mage trainer. And I'm pretty sure somewhere over here. Here we go. Mage trainer, what thank the you? Lord. So we seek further training. And you can see here the arcane explosion is the one that we want to get so i'm going to train that and there we go Farewell. and last let's open our spell book you can see it's flashing there which means we've got ourselves a new skill and if we look at arcane explosion here bring it down to our hotbar and i'll let you know what that does so if you hover over it, it says causes an explosion of arcane magic around the caster causing 38 arcane damage to all targets within 10 yards and well like i said in a, uh, a few episodes ago gosh it's been a while since we've been meaning to get this haven't we um it's a really iconic mage skill and this is why here's how it works so if i do this it's going to blast out some arcane energy and it'll probably kill this little small frog unfortunately but anyway here we go did it no nearly here we go that killed it oh dear all right so what you can do is you can this is instant so you can use it while you run and you've basically got until you run out of mana to use it that's the only limitation on it so it's pretty cool all right now another thing we need to do while we're here of course is um, I can see these jars of kimchi here uh, that of course will remind you hopefully of the fact that we need to do our cooking our daily cooking quest while we're here but in the meantime let's just get ourselves to a vendor any old vendor will do this dual crafting supplies one will do fine we're also gonna sell off anything that's soul bound here got some gloves there yep they can go uh, what's that? No, they're not soul bound. The robes here, they're soul bound. They can go. Got some leather um, soul bound quest items there that we got um, awarded. We don't want that either. The soul bound dagger, definitely don't want that. That is bind when equipped, and that is actually something that's better than what we've got. Why have we not got those not equipped? Great. Oh dear, oh dear. We've been really slack, haven't we? I guess so we need to put those on. Equipping this item will bind it to you. Yes, indeed. Save that. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's also go to our fishing and equip that. And we'll swap those gloves out onto our fishing outfit and save that as well. Now go back to our normal fighting one. All right. So we can now sell those. 
Let's get rid of them because, of course, they're soul bound. Can't do anything else with them. What else have we got here? Skinning knife. We need to keep that, of course. Got a mana pot there. Um, what else? Got some slimy murloc scales. Now, they're actually used for leather working, so we'll pop them up on the auction house. Um, what do we got here? Anything else soul bound is what I'm looking for just while we're at a vendor <clears throat> so we can get rid of it. No, that's good. All right, what I need to do is open up these clams. And you can see there that they're um, giving us meat clam meat you can see it coming up in the chat log there <clears throat> and we'll put them on the auction house as well now around here this is the sort of area i think the zone where there is a crafting as in the food quest the daily cooking quest there it is up there so we might as well pick that up while we're here because of course that gives us xp and also increases our cooking skill now this one's a bit different this is the one where we have to use the uncooked ribs near a stove or a campfire to cook them and then use them to feed five of the darnassa sentinels that are wandering around the town here of course so we'll accept that one now 10 internet points to any of you who can guess um, how we can quickly cook this without having to create a fire. Do you remember? Because normally you use this basic campfire skill here. But do you remember the special little pet that we have? That's right, Ragnaros, little Ragnaros. He doubles actually as a cooking fire. So let's cook those ribs. Here we go. And thank you, Ragnaros, for being a... Uh, we need to get closer. For being a cooking fire. Very handy. <clears throat> Now, what have we got here? Delicious ribs. Offer delicious ribs to a Darnassus Sentinel. All right, so all we have to do is find one. Um, in fact, they're all over the place. Look at this. Here's one right here. There we go. All you need to do is target the Sentinel and then click on the delicious ribs, either out of your bag or, of course, uh, in the quest tracker there. It appears right there. And, of course, these guys tend to be around a lot of the places, especially around here in this area where they're going to be protecting oh, any of our trainers because of course trainers are PvP flags. So an enemy can come in here <clears throat> excuse me, and actually kill them off, which is very painful. Uh, so that's why they have the extra guards around here. So if you're looking for sentinels yeah. very fast, uh, stick around this area here and you can see we're in the Craftsman's Terrace. It's a logical place for them to be and protect. All right, so we've already done that, I think. Look at that, that was fast, well worth doing. So we'll go hand that in straight away. As we use our running wild form here rather than our normal mount, which of course is the Worgen Racial. Here we go, we get ourselves one cooking skill, 15 silver, 1850 XP, and two chef's awards. Now, oh, and look at that, we are also now revered with Darnassus. That is fantastic, and we've only got 24 more daily quest slots that we can do, because up the top here, you can only do 25 daily quests per day, obviously, and we've done one of them. Let's hit the U key now. U brings up your reputations and your faction standings, and here we go. You can see Darnassus now. We're revered, so we're on our way to Exalted. Very exciting. Now, remember the cooking awards? I've got them um, sitting in the bottom of my bag here, so we can always see how many there are. You can go to your currency screen, and they're listed in there, and if you click on that, you can say show on backpack that's how I've got them in my backpack and of course these what are used to here? buy um, items and you can see here if you hover over it chef's award there we go um, not only do you need the items in this case one three varies but you also unfortunately need to be a certain level and a lot of these recipes here are level 80 recipes so obviously we're not level 80 we're not going to be able to buy them just yet but it pays to start early so you've got a nice healthy supply of them uh, when you do hit level 80. all right next up folks what do we need to do we need to get to the ah the auction house so that is exactly where we're going to go because we've got these full bags of ours <clears throat> and we want to empty them out and at the same time of course we want to uh, get lots of money for the sales now the other thing that we have is some mail and that's been sitting there for quite some time and you'll notice that it actually says there unread mail from the uh, Alliance auction house so hopefully it's been less than 30 days because if you leave your mail more than 30 days and let this be a warning to you uh, it will actually return to sender and you don't want to do that so let's check the mailbox right away we'll see how many days we've got less oh look at that it was very close seven days we were one week off losing them uh, and you can see here that there's a lot of successful auctions so this was the last time we went to the auction house of course and look at this we've got ourselves 22 silver here another 22 we've got lots and lots of sales look at all these three uh, two or three pages of successful auctions as I've always said uh, if you're not using the auction house you're doing yourself a disservice look at that one gold 67 for that one that was for some strangle kelp that we picked up a herb 
Um, lots and lots and lots of money here. Very, very, very cool. And you can see now we're already on almost 22 gold in our uh, bags. There's some more. Swiftness Potion, look at that, 4 gold, 61 silver, we're now up to 26, nearly 27 gold, and look at this one, 8, 9, no, what did we get, 8, almost 9 gold, so look at that, one foul sweep, we're already up to 35 gold, 35 and a half gold in fact, and no, there's more, look at this, 6 gold, 55, we are now 42 gold, 12 silver, that is just fantastic, isn't it, I mean, so much money rolling in there. <clears throat> Now, these ones were unsuccessful for whatever reason. That's okay, we'll just take them back out of the mail and throw them straight back up on the auction house. Especially for me here, it's the weekend. Weekends are a fantastic time to put stuff up because there's lots of players around, obviously. So here we go, putting up all these other things, all these greens that dropped for us while we were out questing. So I'm going to refresh, and of course, remember, if there's nothing else like them up on the auction house at this time, they'll come up with no price, so you just use vendor markup which basically triples the amount that you would uh, get from selling it to a vendor. So make sure you're using Auctioneer. By the way, a new version of that just came out the other day with the new patch. So you want to be going and updating because it does go a bit wonky if you don't update. There are all sorts of weird symbols there. All right, this one you can see... <clears throat> Excuse me, got some sort of frog in my throat. This one you can see here does come up with a price because there's already a couple on the auction house. So this has automatically set it at a nice price that will sell. Not the highest, not the lowest, just a nice medium price. Automatically does that for you, very handy. Let's hit refresh on this one. This is doing quite a large scan and same again. You can see there's already stuff in there. So we'll just need to hit post. Shadow Wands, we've got a whole bunch of those. And we're going to sell them in stacks of one. And you can see they've already got them up on the auction house as well. We will sell all three of those. There we go. Automatically posts all three. Got a shadow gem. There's bound to be shadow gems. Yes, there are. Look at that. Tons of them. So the more, of course, that there are items of the same type on the auction house, the more accurate it's going to actually populate your sell prices for. So it's always good to be selling things that are very popular. Otherwise, do the good old vendor markup. Some tiger's eye. There'll definitely be some of that. I can guarantee it. There we go. <clears throat> A war knife of power. Let's uh, use the vendor mark up there, see if there's anything. And yep, good stuff, we'll sell that. Willow pants of the monkey, none of those up there. So once again, using the vendor markup. Sell, sell, sell. Some bear meat. Now, again, it's a real tough choice with all of these meats. In fact, you've got bear meat, clam meat here. Do you sell it? Or do you not? If you don't sell it, of course, you can use it for um, leveling up your cooking. If you do sell it, it's worth quite a pretty penny. For me now, I think I'm just going to hang on to it because our cooking is just a little bit woeful. So we're probably going to need that. Heavy stone, definitely want to sell those. There you go. You can see there's a ton of them up there already. Uh, copper ore, we want to actually smelt. We won't actually sell that in its raw state. Light hide from our skinning. Absolutely, we want to sell those. And linen cloth, we want to keep at this point for uh, our, what is it, for our uh, first aid, of course, that's what we want that for. Got a green leather bag there, we'll probably pop that in the bank. Got the meat, getting near the end now. Uh, some refreshing pineapple punch, we could probably use that ourselves, although we do have 15 melon juice, and so now let's sell it. See if anyone else is selling it, no they're not. That's alright, we'll pop a vendor markup on it there and post it. Alright, so now if we have a look at our bags, Yay, okay, they're getting a lot better. Oh, we've got a slimy murloc scale. Wait a minute, need to scroll down just a little bit more. That murloc scale there. Yep, and there's items there. Look at that, 1 gold 53. That's a pretty good price. Definitely worth hanging on to those. Small eggs, once again, you can keep them for cooking. Or let's have a look and see how much they're worth at the moment. Oh, okay, they're not worth much at the moment, but around Christmas time they're worth a pant load. Uh, so you definitely want to be keeping them at Christmas time. But for now, we'll hang on to them and use them in our cooking. Tin ore, definitely want to hang on to that. And woolen cloth, cloth we want to hang on to as well. Let's get a price check on it anyhow. Um, you can see it's worth quite a bit, but we will actually keep it because we need it for our first aid. Whew. All right, there we go. Now we just need to go up to one of the only forges that is in Darnassus. Now see if you can remember where it was. Uh, some people have a real time trying to find this because it's not completely obvious. Uh, it's just sneaking around through here. Oh, will we make the jump? Yes, we will. Okay, here we are. It's uh, on the terrace here, and it's just this little thing here. Here it is, the forge. 
All right, so let's open up our smelting that we haven't done for so long. Look at this, we got tin. We're already, like I explained in another episode, we're already past the tin stage. We've got our uh, leveling so high, but at least we're able to actually smelt tin that we picked up. Here we go, smelting copper. We've got 50 of these to do. So in actual fact, I'll stop that now, and what we'll do is we will, oh, actually, no, I'll keep going because it's going to be able to give us smelting bronze. And you can see here that bronze is a combination of tin and copper. Um, there we go. We can actually smelt three bronze. So that's a new one for us, and this will give us a skill up, hopefully. You can see it's actually crafting two bronze bars at once, so that's quite a good one. And we will sell those directly to the AH because they are so uh, good in terms of uh, fetching a good dollar. Oh, we've got rough stone there as well, so we actually did miss some things to sell. Whoops, not sure why they didn't show up. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there we go, tons more. Gosh, I mustn't have scrolled down far enough. Whoopsie. Anyhow, uh, what we also need to do is smelt the rest of this uh, copper ore. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video for now uh, to save you getting bored, and we'll be right back after we've done that. And here we are, nearly done. Three, two, and one more to go. There we go. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of uh, copper bars there. Look at that. Very nice. Bronze bars as well. And, of course, we can't do anything with those because we're not... If you hover over it with your add-on on, you'll see there we're not blacksmith, we're not an engineer, we're not dual crafting, and we're not leatherworking. Now we are mining, of course, and the copper bars we can use to make more bronze, uh, but we can actually sell that bronze now quite happily because we can't use it for anything. So let's head back to the AH, where of course we have to finish off what we started. Not sure why I didn't quite get all of those up on the AH. That was silly of me. Whoops, as I run into a mailbox, that was smart. All right, back to the auctioneer. Here we go. Hit the appraiser tab, and here we go. Rough stone. Let's refresh, see what the price is of rough stones. There we go. Post them all automatically. Yes, thank you very much. There we go. Now, where are we? Bronze bar. Let's see what pretty pennies they fetch. Oh, four gold, 35 each. That is fantastic. We will absolutely post them up. That's... Yeah, thanks very much. Just out of interest, let's see what the old copper bars would give us. One gold. Wow. Okay, so if I was to sell that stack there, it's saying that I would actually get 83 gold. Can you believe that, folks? Um, you can see it's quite easy to make money in WoW with these professions. Absolutely fantastic, in fact. Um, although for now, I think it's best to put them in the bank because we don't know whether or not we'll need them when we go to smelt more bronze. I think they'll come in handy, even though we could do with the money. Well, then again, we've got quite a bundle already, 41 gold there, doing all too well for ourselves, I think. Right now, see if you can rem remember what other daily quests that we can take, seeing as we're here. That's right, what it's the fishing here? one. Let's see what it is this time. Stocking up catch five lake whitefish by fishing in Darnassus. Right, so that's nice and handy. That's Farewell. actually right here. You can see here, we look on our map, the entire lake in the middle of Darnassus, which is right where we are. That's the only place we need to be. So let's see if we can quickly do that. Of course, we're going to switch to our fishing outfit here. Equip. There we go. And let's see if we can stand in this boat. Yay! All right, and of course, all you need to do once your fishing rod is equipped is uh, trigger your fishing skill. Don't actually click on the icon for the fishing rod. That won't get you anywhere. You actually have to literally click on the fishing uh, icon, and that, of course, comes... Oh, look at that. We fished up a lesser healing potion. Can you believe it? Uh, fishing comes from your general tab in here. There, uh, So it's not the auto attack one. It's actually the fishing. Now, where is it? Wait a minute. There we go. It's in professions. Duh. And it's literally you drag that icon there to your hot bar. All right. Let's see if we can actually fish up. What are we looking for? Lake whitefish. Bit of luck. And, of course, it is random uh, with the fishing. We've got the right skill for it in terms of being the right level for this particular bit of water. But whether or not we fish up the quest item, that's a different kettle of fish. <laughs> Pardon my pun. Uh, but that is down to the RNG gods, the random number, number generator. It will decide whether or not we pick up what we need to. There we go. You can see we've got one there. And just like everything else, that will appear in your quest log. Just here, uh, rather in your bags. There you go. You can see it, and it's actually listed as a quest item. You can tell that because it's got one of those yellow borders around it. So we just need five of those. 
So once again, what I think we'll do, you got the hang of it, is we'll pause the video here, and then once we've got our five, we'll be right back. And welcome back, folks. That's it. We've got our, you can see there, Lake Whitefish 5 of 5, as we have the beautiful, look at that, the beautiful backdrop of Darnassus in the background there. Isn't it an amazing city? I just love the look and feel of the city. Look at that. The uh, On the server, it's actually our time here in Australia. It's at night, but it's always got a pink glowing sky, and it just looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? I just, there's something about it. There's something about the visual style of wow that gets me every single time and i just particularly like the night elf look as well love being in this city all right there we go we're all done if we can jump out there no we can't <laughs> oh dear time for a swim by the looks of things all right hand in the daily fishing quest always good for the nice. xp good for a bag of shiny things you never know what you're going to get in there I've had some really cool stuff in there come up in the past. Here we go, let's open it up and see what is in there today. And we've got an elixir of water walking. That always comes in handy, although it's level 35, so we'll probably sell that on the AH. And we've got a very unlucky rock. Oh dear. So that, of course, is a play on the lucky rock. Very funny. All right, let's go to the supplier here, sell off our junk. And I'm going to sell these fish as well, I think, because if we look in our cooking, do we have any of our fishing? No, we don't. Okay, so sometimes uh, you get fishing recipes. We'll have to get some of them later. Of course, fishing isn't something I like to keep uh, my bags full with because raw fish, yes, it's handy, and they give you health, and you can use them for your cooking, but you can fish them up so easily, it's just not worth it. All right, all done. Let's make sure we remember to switch back to our normal combat gear. Good stuff, and we're going to head over now to the bank and get rid of all the stuff that's in our bags because we absolutely need to make space so that we can head back out into the big wide world all refreshed, all trained up with our new spell and of course we've done our dailies, we're all right, we've uh, put things on the auction house we will be rip-roaring and ready to go. Let's have a look at the banker here Oh, and looks like we've got nearly full bags here. It might be time to purchase uh, space for an additional bag. You can see it's one gold there. Lucky for us, all of those auctions sold in the last episode, so we're going to be able to actually afford that, no problem. We'll purchase another slot, and they, by the way, they do get more and more expensive as you go on, just so you know. We'll pop an eight-slot bag in there. There we go. Um, and you can see here now that the next slot, and by the way you can go right out to slot 7, is actually worth 10 gold. So they do start getting just a little bit more expensive. Alright, so going to throw our meat in there. Yep, definitely going to do that um, and put some copper bars in as well. There we go. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the meat. Um, put our eggs in the bank as well and we'll have a look at our first aid. Do we have any wool yet? No. We've got our linen bandage, bandages though. So we'll close up the bank now and let's just quickly uh, finish off here by leveling up a couple of these professions like first aid for example. We'll just um, get them underway because I think the next banding is about... Ooh, I can't remember. I think it was level 80 that I need in order to be able to get the next level of recipe. We'll check that in a minute actually, so I might stop there. Let's have a look at what else have we got here. We're going to use uh, linen. That's about it, I think. So let's head on over to the first aid trainer. Because I just want to check that. Now remember folks, if you don't know where a trainer is, you can always ask a guard or ask a Darnassus Sentinel. And they'll put a marker on your map for most things, like trainers and um, profession trainers and all sorts of different things. I'm pretty sure that they're around here somewhere. I can see them on my map. There we go, first aid trainer over there. Just hover over the trainer symbols. And there we go. Look at this, hover over that first aid. Now let's go check what the next level we need is. And we need, requires anti, oh look at that, there we go, train that, we've now got anti-venom, so let's have a look at that, if we look in here, it's actually, um, there we go, other anti-venom, you need a small venom sack, but now we can make these where um, it'll make three of these, your target is cured of poisons up to level 25, so very handy skill to have there, and look at this, we've got ourselves a woolen bandage, requires first aid, level 80 train, which we are now, and you can see there, that, that is yellow, the heavy linen bandage is green, so now there's no point whatsoever in wasting this linen cloth we might as well use the wool bandages and we're going to create all of those 
you can see now this does a couple of things number one it's going to increase our first aid skill you can see there it's basically popping every single time every single time we make a woolen bandage our skill is going up so this is just fantastic not only that of course but the wool bandages themselves here we go it heals 161 damage over seven seconds whereas the old heavy linen bandages only healed 114 damage over six seconds so it's better for us better for the skill better for everything we're now going to start leveling up with these woolen bandages now what we're also going to do in a second once these are finished is go and talk to him again and find out when the heavy wool bandages become what available there we go yeah. heavy wool bandage at 115 so you can see we're nearly there we that got us all the way to skill 98 very cool but we need to get up to 115 and we can actually start making heavy ones so all we want to be able to do now is basically collect wool so what we'll do is we'll go back to the auction house we'll put the elixir of walker water water walking rather up there we'll pop these on our hot bar uh, we'll probably sell off the old linen bandages in fact we'll just stop past any old um, where are we supplier here we go alchemist supplier that'll do We'll sell off our old bandages there because they don't tend to sell too well on the auction house for one reason or another <clears throat> not sure why but anyway there you go all right let's mount up and boy we've got to finish off this episode we've gone way over time gosh it goes fast when you're playing well especially when you're in one of your favorite zones all right race 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 over to the ah and we'll have done all our housework duties at last it's taken us about two episodes too much you can see there we're already about three and a half bars away from leveling as well as you know we are level 23 we're nearly now level 24 so we will probably head back to the quest zone at the beginning of the next episode go back down into dark shore let's go into appraiser here sell this linen cloth see how much it's worked for uh, worth hopefully worth a pretty penny and that's all going to give us 21 gold yes thank you very much we'll take that very nice <clears throat> and the elixir of water walking let's not forget that either and that's going to give us well three and a half gold yep we'll definitely pop that up there um so yes what we need to do is head back down to dark shore finish off the questing that we started and then probably actually head for a couple of instance runs again before these ones here uh, run out so once again we've got to the end of level 25 and the end of level 26 we are already uh, nearly 24 so we're going to have to get a wriggle on and do them if we have a look on the map of course where are we going to head well we're going to head uh, next episode fly across to dark shore and then take a flight down to this handy flight point that we discovered last time we were over there and we'll hand in a couple of quests and then go to finish off the ones for the dwarf so of course all that and more coming up in the next episode certainly hope you enjoyed this episode as we did a bit of housework got our new skill where is it there it is that classic mage sound and of course that's a bane if you're in pvp but anyhow I certainly hope you'll join me in the next one on behalf of myself sambo and seraphis our lovely awargan mages us saying certainly hope you're having a great day take care see you later and bye bye